Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do day and date calculations on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll need to use the shift key that looks like this located here, the menu key with the shift function of setup that looks like this located here, the exit key that looks like this, located here, and the F1 through F6 keys, located across the top here. To get started with this, we first need to navigate to the TVM app. To do this, we press the menu key, bringing us to the main menu, and then we need to go down to this TVM here. So we scroll over and down so that it's highlighted and press EXE. Now we see this menu here and we want to scroll one to the right so we hit F6 and at F2 we see days calculation. That's what we want so we press F2 again and there we go we're in the day calculation app. An important thing to know about this is we're limited to the dates we can work with. This app only works between the dates of January 1st, 1901 and December 31st, 2099. Also, we can use either 365 or 360 day years. You can see right now I'm set to 365 day years because it says 365 at the top there. If we wanted to change that to 360 day year, we would do that by pressing the shift and then the menu key, bringing us to this menu. And then if we scroll down to date mode, we see we can change between 365 and 360 day years. We'll keep it at 365 day years for this example. And then we can exit out of that with the exit key. All right, let's try an example. Let's say we were given a project on January 2nd, 2010, that was due on March 15th, 2010. How many days would we have to complete that project? Or how many days between January 2nd and March 15th, 2010? To do that from our day calculation app, first we need to set our D1, which is our start date, and our D2, which is our end date. So we highlight D1, and then we can just start entering our date. So we have January 2nd, 2010, and we can just start with the month, which is one for January. There we go, input date, month, one for January, hit EXE, and then the input date, day, but we have the second, so we hit two, and then input date year, we have 2010, and hit EXE, and there we see under D1 we have the first month, second day, year 2010, which is a Saturday, it tells us. Then for D2, we enter our second date, which was March 15th, 2010. We know that March is the third month, so we start with the three for March, 15 for the day, and 2010 for the year, hit EXE, there we go. Now down at the bottom here we have our options. We have PRD, which is number of days between D1 and D2, D1 plus D, which is where we can calculate a number of days past D1, and D1 minus D, where we can calculate the number of days before D1. So since we wanted to calculate the number of days between D1 and D2, we'll hit F1 for PRD. There we go. This tells us there are 72 days between January 2nd, 2010, and March 15th, 2010. So that's how long we have to get our project done. To go back, we can hit F1 again. 
Let's say we set ourselves a milestone for our project seven days after the start of our project on January 2nd, and we want to know what that date is. Well, we can do that with this app as well. We set D to seven. D is the number of days. And then we hit D1 plus D, or date one, which remember was January 2nd, 2010, plus seven days. That tells us that is January 9th, 2010, which is also a Saturday. We can also calculate days before a date. Like for example, we had another milestone that we wanted to have done 14 days before March 15th. How can we determine that? Well, we need to first change our D1 because these only work off of D1. So we need to change D1 to our March 15th, 2010. And then our D to 14. And then we use D1 minus D to find that 14 days before March 15th is March 1st, 2010, which is a Monday. So that's when we need to have our other milestone complete. And once we're done working with our day and date calculations, we can go back to the main menu by hitting the menu key. And there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.